adding and subtracting with fractions, still uh, doing that, uh, but now I have some mixed numbers. Yeah, I'm going to give you two ways to solve this question, um, and the first way is the following. Well, we know by now, I don't have to explain to you again, that those denominators have to be the same eh? in order to add or subtract fractions. Five and seven, they're not the same. So I have to manipulate them. So five and seven, they share which common multiple do they have? Uh, which multiple do they share? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35. This one times seven, yeah? And then seven times five. Yeah, you see again how important those timetables are. So three, 14 over 35, yeah? That's an equivalent fraction that is the same. Yeah, I'm just manipulating it and five, five over 35, okay? And if I perform that addition, I can add the whole numbers, the units, three plus five, that is eight, and then I add my fractions, yeah? How many over 35? Well, 14 plus another five, 19. So eight, 19 over 35 is the answer. Now I promise you to show you another method because Especially in some cases, the method I'm now about to show you is a little bit uh, yeah, better or you will make less mistakes, probably, yeah? Um, anyway, in this particular case, when you are adding fractions or mixed numbers, yeah, turn them in an improper fraction, turn them into an improper fraction first, okay? So three, two over five as an improper fraction, top heavy fraction is 17, over five, yeah, 17 over five. Check my previous video, how to do that, yeah? three times five plus two. And the other one also is an improper fraction, five times seven, 35 plus one, so that is 36 over seven. So whenever I am adding mixed numbers, perhaps turn them into top heavy fractions first, then you manipulate them, and then you find um, a common multiple, so this one still times seven, and that one still times five. Okay, so that is 35 and 17 times seven. Well, that is 70 plus 49, that is 119. Yeah, who needs a calculator? Plus, and the other one, 35. Now 36 times five, 150, plus 30, 180. Now big numbers, I agree. Um, over 35, 119 plus 180, it's 299, yeah, so 299. So, again, the mixed number, I have manipulated it, I've changed it into a top heavy fraction, then I find the equivalent fractions, so those denominators are the same, and then I have my answer, which is a top heavy fraction, which I have to now convert into a mixed number, how many times is 35 and into 299? Well, that is eight. I'll do it in red here, because it gets a little bit crowded there. You see that? A little bit crowded. So it is eight, uh, and then my remainder is 19 over 35. So it gives me the same answer. Now, perhaps for this example question, this is a little bit easier, yeah? But in the next video, I'll show you an example where this method would be better. So just try to, to give yourself several strategies, several methods uh, to approach questions rather than just one. Yeah. All right, I'll see you at the next video.